Well, hello there. This is Dom from Dom Shine. So welcome to the lovely studio today. Guys, listen, I've not seen you guys in a long time. I really, really miss you guys. So I had to make this video just so I could see your beautiful faces again. Yay! Guys, what will we be making today? What do you think we're making today? We are making some skillets, okay? Some dessert skillets. We have a apple pie. And we have a peach pie. And we are going to have a good time. Listen, before we go into this, Jake, would you mind the what the supplies is going to be for today. We're going to need some gel wax. We're going to need some paraffin wax. We're going to need some parasoy wax. <laughs> We're going to need some embeds. So for those peach and those apple embeds, you can use this one mold. It is a peach slash apple mold. I'm going to leave a link in the description box so you can go ahead and get it yourself. That's how we make the crumble with the paraffin. So you're definitely going to need 100% paraffin. It's the best way to make crumble. I'm going to add the clip. I made some crumble yesterday and I used my phone with it. So it's not going to be as cute. <laughs> but guys, you can see it right here.
it's just burning really wild or it's a high fire. So what we're going to do is we're going to probably stay within those ranges. But if you, you need to just test it for yourself. Just make one pan just to test it. Me, I stay with that Eco 8 slash CD8. I stay with the CD8 and it has a very slow, smooth burn. And I like that. And the, and the flame is not really high. It's low and basically with it burning by the time it get down to the parasoy it'll have a normal burn and it won't just be like they have to clip this is a clipless you do not have to clip you do not have to clip if you do it the right way i i, I don't even tell people to trim their wicks because if you trimming this wick and you basically testing your things and you know how it burn it's going to be people that's not going to trim their wigs. Let's just be real. When I was buying Bath & Body Works candle, Yankee candle, and things like that, I never trimmed my wig. So I basically test all of my candles in a way that my customer would do it without trimming the wig. So if it's burning real high, but when I trim the wig, it's normal, then I know I need to wig down. All right, so I'm not going to do too much of that, guys. Listen, we're going to get right on into it. Make sure you have your embeds ready. Now, for my particular embeds, these peaches, they look lovely. They look like a real peach. I went ahead and took the red candle dye, and I painted each and every one of my peaches in the middle just so it could have a real peach look. That's pretty cool, right? Yeah, and also... I did the same thing with, well with the apples I didn't need to paint the apples I use cinnamon so make sure you guys have you some ground cinnamon it could just be some cheap cinnamon from Walmart because this is where you're gonna get that real authentic apple look as you can see it has like a real apple you know in the middle like it has the seasoning look on it, and it, it I mean that's what tricks people they be thinking it's real so get your fragrances for your gel make sure you're not just using any fragrance for your gel because it will catch on fire make sure you use gel safe fragrance i do have a list of vendors with gel safe fragrance for a good low low very inexpensive so if you do want to schedule that uh vendor chat remember guys i do not share my vendors publicly because if i share them publicly you won't have access to them so i, I decided to be smart with certain things i withhold some information but i give you guys a lot of information all right so we're gonna go ahead and get right on into it heat up your pots and let's rock hey let's rock Okay guys, so what I decided to do was, I did decide to go forward with the apple instead of the peach. Reason being, I wanted to teach you guys how. Now, all I'm gonna do is really lay these peaches out the same way I'm gonna lay the apples out, nothing special. But with the apple, there is another part to it and that's having some ground cinnamon. So I wanted you guys to like see that ground cinnamon going on there so you can know how I made my apple pie look so realistic. Like it has like the cinnamon on top of the apple and people probably would have been wondering if you don't know that you can do that. I needed you guys to see the full thing. So what you want to do is now, like what I did was I poured my wax in there. And so now what you really want to do is you want to go ahead and lift your wicks up and trim them. If your base has hardened in the middle, you could do it. If it ain't all the way hard, it's fine. You still could do it. Just lift them up and trim them. And they may fall back down if you your middle is not fully solidified like mine's is not fully done but i'm just clipping it just to show you guys so it may fall back down which is fine and it doesn't really matter if it leaves like a little scrape or line because you're going to cover all of this up anyway so right now mine's is fully getting fully solidified in the middle it's nearly done so i'm just let it finish cooling off and getting hard it should be hard in the next five minutes but meanwhile in between time i want to show you guys this make sure you have a pouring pot with some of your leftover wax inside of it because what we're going to do with this is we're going to go ahead and we're going to take this and we're going to use a heat gun and we're going to heat this up and this is how we're going to get our ice cream look on top of our pie so you want to make sure you have this your heat gun and also make sure that you have your ice cream scoop ready as well I put mines on top of wax paper, so they are pretty, you know, firm. They've been sitting there for about two days. You can use old wax. You do not have to use brand new wax to make these. 
You could use wax that you had sitting for like maybe a week, two weeks, maybe nine months. All you got to do is take that wax. You just have to go take it, take your, your blender. You have to use a mixer. You cannot do it by hand. But take a mixer and just take that old wax and mix it. And it still will look as good as it did when you first did it. So now this is basically fully solidified. We're going to go ahead and pull our, pour our crumbs. Now to make the crumbs, you do need like a yellow and a brown. That's important. Those are the two important colors that you will be using. You will use yellow and brown. You mix those together to get the crumb look. And this is how the crumbs come out. They look really good. And then when you put the wax on top of it, it, it gives it more of a realistic look. So I use the same fragrance in my crumbs that I used in the peaches. And I use like a breadcrumb type fragrance. So it, you know, really smell like breadcrumbs. So if y'all ready, I'm ready. We're about to get it on. Come through here, okay? Oh, as you can see my hands, so I say, okay. All right. Okay, so now for the fun part. We're gonna put our little apple slices to the side. Make sure you're heating up your gel during this time because it makes it so much easier because you could just go ahead and do it all at the same time. But you want to take your crumble and you want to put your crumble all over the top of this. Yes, you're just going to light it up with a bunch of crumble. I want you to really fill it in. Like, don't just put it on the top, sprinkle it. I want you to fill the whole thing up with crumble on the top. That's why I would prefer for you to use CD wicks. But once you get down to the base of it, it will probably burn too much. or your peaches whatever you choose to do at this time grab your fruit because my gel is melting right now and it's almost done melting i just got like a little chunk but grab your apples and just lay them around make yourself a little design because it you want it to look cute you want it to look realistic like oh wow that that really looks like apples that looks like real food so you want to make it look presentable and cute so i just like to make mine just go in a little weird way going all around yes honey yes you did good sis you listened okay so that's how i'm going to lay mines out because remember in the middle we're going to put the ice cream in the middle like the ice cream scoop is the ice cream scoop is going to go right here so this is the part where things are going to get pretty messy. So for that part in particular, I want you to go ahead and I want you to lay something down 
that's going to catch, catch some of this wax because things are going to get really messy when you do this. This is the messy part. So lay everything out. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to start applying our gel. My gel is nice and hot. And for this particular project, depending on how many you're doing, I normally do about four ounces of gel for the top. So you could do four, you could do more than four, but that's how much I use. Four ounces for each pot. I don't fill it up with gel too much. I don't like, you know, because we got a lot of crust, we got the apples, so we really don't need a whole lot of gel. So it's not like you're using eight ounces of gel. You're using about four ounces. And for most projects, to be honest with you, gel is very expensive. So you don't want to be using a whole, whole lot of gel. So I'm just going to go ahead and take my gel. And you're going to need one of these good old fashioned spoons and just pour your gel into the skillet. Just pour it on in there. You're going to get you an old fashioned spoon and just pour it in there. I got a little star in mine on accident. Cover it all up, seal it all up. This is like my favorite part, <laughs> making a mess. And so just let it run all down. And I want you to cover it up as much as possible. Let that gel get all over the crumbs because what you wanna do is you wanna lock these crumbs in. You don't want these crumbs running all over the place. Keep your when when you package this you want to make sure that when you package it you're not dealing with a box full of crumbs so you want to take and you want to cover everything up the way i did you want to cover it all up like i'm going to leave out some of the apple but i'm going to take and i'm going to put gel all around here like i'm going to fill all of this up so go ahead and do that real quick Okay, I'm warming up my wax a little bit more because it really gets solidified very, very fast. So, just warming it up just a little tiny bit more so you guys can see. Okay. And watch it because the gel will get on fire. So, make sure you stay within your temperatures so you see you're gonna get pretty messy with this you just pouring it all over you're gonna get pretty messy it's all right but this is the only way to make it to get it right so to speak so you're gonna go ahead and make sure you pour it all over the crumbs you cover up your crumbs because you don't want your crumbs coming out Okay, so I got my crumbs pretty filled up. This is good. Make sure this is a good temperature. But what I want you to do is I want you to go ahead and take and just dab a little bit on before you put your ice cream because I want your ice cream to be nice and stable. So just put a little bit on there. Just a tiny bit. We're going to use it as glue. And sit your ice cream on top of it. And then when you're doing that, I want you to go ahead and get your pot. And this is the easy part because all you're doing is pretty much just taking your heat gun and heating up your pot. It don't take gel long to solidify. And the good part about this is this is peach like some peach that I have left over so it's going to smell like peach and it gives the top a fragrance of peach so just go ahead and take it and just pour it on here and you want it to just really be on one side you don't want to cover the whole thing up with ice cream because it's just going to hide your artwork but just make sure you put a thick nice thick layer on it that's why I said you need to make sure that you go ahead and, you know, 
put you something down, some cardboard. That way when you do this, it won't be as messy. So right now it's solidifying and it's going to start turning white. You're going to see the ice cream effect. And after you finish, it will look like this. Like once you get it done, it will look like this. So take that. Before you do that though, I want you to go ahead and just do your little part of cinnamon. So put some cinnamon in your hand. I don't want you to just sprinkle it on, sprinkle it on there. I want you to be very strategic about it. But just take the cinnamon and try to get the cinnamon on the apples. I want you to put it on the apple. If you want to take a heat gun and kind of heat it up, you could do that just to make sure it stick. But it should just stick fine. But I want you to put the cinnamon directly on the apples, not the whole thing. And this gives it a real good look. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hit mine with a heat gun just to make sure that the cinnamon stays in place. Just lightly hit it with a heat gun. Okay. All right. So now it's done. You got to let it get hard, of course. Like let the wax and everything solidify all around it. And then you could just go after you finish, get you a knife, straighten it up and it should just be really really nice like this is it like you have created a masterpiece this is beautiful so guys listen okay so if you enjoyed this lovely video there's more where these videos come from go ahead and hit the subscribe button and we will be back making some lovely 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 ice cream bowls yes guys no this is not just your average ice cream bowl like we will be using ice cream cones we will be taking chips putting it inside the ice cream like this thing will look like a real ice cream bowl so go ahead and hit the subscribe button and i will see you back in the studio soon